So the, the study is about using the, our knowledge of the uh, anti-aging systems and really 15 years of, of our work with uh, aging and mechanisms of aging, but also mechanisms of resistance to stress. And so we started thinking of ways that we can use the knowledge of gerontology to prevent cancer, but also to uh, help with the toxicity caused by chemotherapy. One of the major experiments that we did was to inject a very aggressive neuroblastoma cancer into mice. And then uh, we starved them for 48 hours, and then we hit the mice and the neuroblastoma uh, cancer with high-dose chemotherapy. The mice that were starved for 48 hours and then treated with high-dose chemotherapy were protected. Only about one in over 50 mice died after this type of chemotherapy. By contrast, the mice that were not pre-starved were very sensitive to chemotherapy and about over 50% of the mice died. Almost uh, anybody that, that understands stress resistance and uh, cellular aging will immediately say, well, if a cell is starved, most likely it's gonna be better protected against toxins. Uh, we and, and uh, several labs in the college uh, do very well. It's very basic research, and the basic research, a lot of the times, tells you a lot more about the uh, uh, complicated or complex uh, um, problems than, uh, than applied research. We knew it worked very well in the Saccharomyces cerevisiae in this very simple uh, model system, unicellular eukaryote, and, and from there it was just a matter, I think, of doing a lot of experiments, but having a pretty good idea that this was going to work. And when it did, it was, it was great, uh, obviously, and it would be even greater if it works in, in clinical trials.